Did Epic Games just change the game industry forever? And what does that mean for us as 3D artists? And what should you be learning? What skills should you be developing right now as a 3D artist if you're just getting into it? Well, we're gonna take a look. This footage is taken from the next gen real time demo running on the PlayStation 5 from Unreal Engine. So Epic Games have just released information about their new systems, their real-time graphics uh, run on a PlayStation 5, and there's two systems they've got. There's Lumin and there's Nanite. So Lumin is about global illumination, so it's uh, ray trace light with bounces and everything, and you can move the lights around. It looks really, really realistic, basically. It looks real. Uh, then there's Nanite, which is truly virtualized geometry. So you can import uh, photogrammetry files or ZBrush files. So your complete sculpt, chuck it in to your game and it will work. You don't have to do all the uh, retopology and the normal maps. Apparently this is, this is happening and we've got it right in front of us at the moment, which is very, very exciting. In this scene that you can see behind me they've got uh, over a billion triangles in each frame with 8K textures. And this with, is with global illumination as well. So it just looks truly amazing. What you can see behind me, I know it, it looks uh, like we're watching a film basically. Um, so what is this going to mean for game artists? Now we don't have to uh, do all the retopology and obviously the, the traditional technique is to take your uh, high poly sculpt turn it into a low poly with all the retopology and then bake normal maps, cavity maps and all that from the high poly to the low poly and you get something that still looks okay but it's not as good as having this really really detailed model. That's what we've always wanted as artists in a set, that's how I feel anyway. I've always wanted to keep it nice and simple. You do the artwork, you do the sculpt and then you uh, just can put it in a game and that's what you hope, you, that's what you dream for isn't it when you first start out in the industry and then you realize oh no I've got to retopologize what I've got to bake normals well how do you do that and it takes you like weeks to learn how to do that well that's all getting cut out we do have to take a step back here because there's always a long way to go with these things and when you first see them you suddenly think oh does that mean normal maps won't exist anymore I'm sure they'll be around for a fair bit longer but we've got to think of the future we are kind of seeing the future now so if you imagine that we don't need normal maps anymore that's probably I don't know three to five years time maybe longer than that who knows but if you're just starting out in the 3D industry, this is quite important to you. You're thinking, well, what skills do I actually need to learn? So if people are able to do sort of photogrammetry and take their scans and chuck them into uh, games without any problems with 8K textures and it looks uh, real, then what does that mean for those artists that are trying to replicate reality? Are they going to be kind of useless? And in a way, I, I it may not be uh, a year, two years, but let's talk about five years and 10 years. So if you're learning now, maybe five years into the future, you might find that those sort of artists are, are not really required anymore. Or certainly there won't be as many needed. But what we will need is just artists in general. So I think it's really important, uh, and I've always said this, if you want to future-proof yourself, then you should be thinking about your art skills and your creative skills. Those are things that are much harder for the computers to just be automated. Maybe we're looking 10 or 20 years later where someone will just say, oh, I want a, a special orc to come into this game and just blop, it's in. Uh, so I suppose you still need a creative mind for that. And maybe the computers will start doing that even better than we can as humans. So yes, eventually uh, we're all gonna be sort of out of a job as it were, perhaps. But to properly future-proof yourself, you are going to need to think about what sort of skills the computer will find harder to accomplish. So uh, I suppose hand-painted textures or characterized sculpts are much more difficult, whereas human beings, you can scan them now. So we're gonna see uh, just scans of humans being. So if you uh, really want to get a really detailed, realistic human being, and that's your kind of artwork, then maybe think about adapting that to character caricature artwork perhaps or something. Can you see where I'm going with this? You need to think about what the computers won't be able to do and therefore your job and uh, your interests uh, being useful and required. I don't know about you guys, but when I first got into the game industry, I wanted to just be able to create art, put it in my game and make things work quickly, easily and get my ideas happening. 
but in a sense, the tech kind of gets in the way. And that's what companies are trying to remove. They're trying to make it easier for us to make games. So we shouldn't push against this and we shouldn't be thinking, oh, that will never happen because it obviously is gonna happen because that's what most people want. Anything that makes the creation process easier is obviously going to be more desirable. And therefore we're going to see more people creating games. And that's kind of ultimately the goal of this industry is to create exciting, fantastic stuff with minimal effort, but really be able to get your creative ideas out there or onto the screen or into virtual reality or whatever it might be. So I think this is a really exciting change, but don't push against it is my first thing. Uh, don't assume it's gonna happen straight away because always when these uh, things are released, it takes a few years before they really become reality. Uh, but embrace it, uh, get excited about it, and think, uh, what should I be doing in the future so I can be part of this? That's my thought for the day anyway. So uh, keep going, keep being creative, uh, keep working on your artistic skills, and have fun. Thanks for watching.